And a father of eight lost the log home he has been building to the Oregon Road fire, a home that had no insurance. New at 10 tonight, Kyle Simchuk went to see the damage and how he plans to move forward. Yeah, this is not completely safe to walk through. <laughs> so you might want to be careful. Michael Martin showed us what's left. This is the concrete that was left in between. Each one of these holes was a log. Of the cordwood home he's been building by hand and out of pocket since 1999. We had our youngest son here uh, in this house. I delivered him in this house. He moved on to these 10 acres with his wife and eight kids. It's where they plan to retire and have grandkids over for the holidays. She passed away from cancer seven years ago. And so she wasn't able to see it get this far. And then and she wasn't able to see this, which is good. To make things worse. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. Michael's dream home and the shop he built with his kids had no insurance. It's a cordwood log home. And most insurance companies don't, won't give you insurance for a log home, any type of log home. And so <clears throat> I've been battling with them for a long time. And I finally found a small company back east that said that they would insure it. I was probably one month from having insurance. There's been a lot of talk about state and federal resources coming in to help fire victims, but at last night's meeting, which Michael attended, Sheriff John Knowles told people not to count on a bailout. I don't want you to have this false idea that if you're not insured, you're going to be made completely whole uh, by anybody here. It's just not going to happen. And I apologize for that. That is awful, but it's real. It's, it's my responsibility, it's not somebody else's, so I, I understood that, but it's, it would be nice to at least get, you know, some type of sizable chunk so that you can start, you know, moving forward. That's one of the reasons why we have the GoFundMe set up to try to offset a little bit. Michael plans to rebuild here, and today is already seeing signs of life poking through the ash. It'll, it'll work out again, you know, it just takes a lot of time, a lot of patience. And as Michael mentioned, he has started a GoFundMe to help pay for the rebuilding and also the cleanup costs here. We'll have a link to that in this article on Krim.com. Reporting in Elk, Kyle Simchuk, Krim 2 News.